Hello everyone, Scott here again. I am doing hyperbole. On three hours sleep. <laughs> Got out of three hours, well, four, five hours ago. Seven, six hours ago? It's seven in the morning. Um, Avengers, Age of Ultron, which I'm kind of bummed. My ticket just says AVX 3D Avenger Atmos, but it does have the date of May 1st. Um, got out of Avengers last night, ended up chatting with Shauna, who was death, uh, in the GPC for longer than I should have, and now I'm up for free comic book day. Tired as all hell. Uh, but I didn't record the, the hyperbole last night for Avengers. I say hyperbole because that makes it mine, I know it's hyperbole, but... Um, I'm doing this very quick because I'm leaving in a uh, half hour for free comic book day with friends. And I'll be taking my camera with footage, so you'll see that at some point. But, for Avengers, um, I, I was one of the ones where Iron Man was great, Incredible Hulk was good, uh, Iron Man 2 was really enjoyable, but I've never watched it since, so, eh. Um, and then Thor was great, and Captain America was fantastic. And then Avengers came along, it was even better than that. Now, Wave 2. Wave 2 comes along, or Phase 2 comes along, and Iron Man 3, I really enjoyed, but again, I've not seen it since, so I don't know how well these ones hold up. Iron Man, I've seen again and again. Um, Thor Dark World, I enjoyed the crap out of. That was great. So that one was good. And then Winter Soldier was fantastic, and Guardians of the Galaxy was amazing. So what are we going to have here? And we have another flat-out fantastic amazing movie. Um, Ultron is one of my least favorite characters because this is the boring mechanical killer robot. Not anymore! <laughs> Ultron and this is amazing, he's so good! I'm keeping this spoiler free, but Ultron, his character and personality, flat-out fantastic. Like, it's so good. Um, the interplay with the characters, is also so good because literally we start right, right out of the gate with uh, going full speed with the Avengers assaulting uh, an enemy base. There's no gathering a team, nothing like that. They're already a team, so they're able to just jump in guns blazing, for lack of a better term, and it's so good. Um, that there's clearly a dynamic of what's been going on, what's happened since. Um, things that we did, still didn't see, like there, there's apparently teamwork with Widow and Hulk up to this point and things like that, and it works really good. And what's great is they still build on the other stuff, like Falcon's in it, Rhodey's in it, stuff like that, right? So it actually combines from prior movies and yet feels like its own completely. It feels like another Avengers movie. Avengers felt like a crossover and it's a team movie. This one does too. Absolutely does. And... I kind of want to say I like it better than the first, but I might just be on that high from five hours ago. But it gets going right out of the gate, and yeah, you're right into it. Um, I don't have much else to say. Uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are great. They're they're super good, surprisingly, considering they're the same married couple from Godzilla. They're the soldier and his wife. Who I told you, they were good actors, but they had bad parts. In here, very good. It's really good. Uh, the action is incredible. The characters are real. Like, they're, they're robots, there's people in iron suits, there's super soldiers, and yet some of the comments is up, it's just so human, even from the bad guys. It's, oh, it's so good. And it's serious, and knows when to do both. Joss Whedon really has this down to a science. Which is sad to know that he's not going to be doing the Infinity War stuff, but... He's got to take a break from it, too, right? So that's only fair. Um, but he said he'll probably come back. He's just got to step away. So fair enough for now. Um, yeah, we, we're definitely building toward Phase 3 with Infinity War Parts 1 and 2. That's, yeah. Um, but also just the next upcoming stuff to get there. It's going to be really, really good. And all seem organic. Civil War seems organic at this point after the stuff going on here. Like There's, there's going to be a point when they're just... They've had enough of each other, Cap and Iron Man, and clearly we're we're on the way there. Like it's not like that hasn't been something from the start anyway, right? Even with even with respect, you can still disagree. So the movie's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. There is no credit bit at the very end, which 
kind of just bums me out because Marvel is the one that trained us. It felt wrong to be walking out after the mid-credit one. It really did. But we, we were still in the lobby and then one of the guys came out and goes, yeah, there was nothing. I was like, okay, so it's... I still feel like, yes, I know for myself there's nothing. Even though Jason uh, Triscodegafals told me there's nothing and he's the only one I believe. I didn't believe Whedon, I didn't look online because you'd know about the other one. Didn't go to AfterCredits.com because you know about the other one. And thank God I didn't know about the other one because I kind of predicted it part way through and beforehand not even realizing it. It's like, ha ha, ha So I'll leave it at that. It's one of my favorite characters and ee, we're getting there, we're getting there. That's part of why I didn't like Ultron. Um, he got in the way of what I hoped from 2, but now it's going to make it all worthwhile when we come up to the other one. It's going to be the 20 years of Marvel stuff since 2008's Iron Man when Infinity War kicks in. And yeah. Or no, 10 years. Only 10. Anyway, I'm on no sleep. I want to update this right now, so 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, whatever you want to call it. Absolute instant recommendation. 3D is not really worth it, except for the opening battle scene. Didn't I honestly forgot it was 3D otherwise, just so you know. Um, but yeah, go watch it. I'm going to go upload this right now and get ready for Free Comic Day. Thanks again.